All right, peace and blessings to everybody out there. Welcome back to the Fake Woke Podcast. This is your boy, Bobby Girl, and I'm back with another episode. Episode 29, the attempt to save Black Lives Matter. Now, um, uh, I think I was supposed to do this episode like two episodes ago, but I got sidetracked with a lot of stuff, um, a lot of different topics, but um, Black Lives Matter, they are attempting to save what is left of their organization, and the reason why I said say that is because, let's just be honest, this year has been a successful year for Black Lives Matter. They have profited off of many dead black people. Um, they have almost accomplished their end all be all goal. And that goal was to get Donald Trump out of office. Now, if you have been following the election because the election is not over. It is not over. Um, They have retracted all of those states that they gave Joe Biden. And now they are, they should be doing the recounts for a majority of those states. Um, Right now, Trump is actually up in the election. According to the source that I posted, I might post it again, just, you know, just to rub it in people's face because Joe Biden is not necessarily the president elect. The media does not call the election, ladies and gentlemen. The media does not call the election. Let's remember that. But besides that, this is the reason why I feel like Black Lives Matter is attempting to save their organization. They have gonna deal with Warner Brothers, ladies and gentlemen, they going to Hollywood. Black Lives Matter is planning to promote trauma in Hollywood. They getting in on the grift. Black Lives Matter is getting in on the grift, ladies and gentlemen. They went Hollywood. Black Lives Matter co-founder, what's her name? Patrice Colors or some shit like that. Forgot her name. She has inked a deal with Hollywood, with Warner Brothers, to promote pretty much the ideology of Black Lives Matter through television. Now, if that's not the slickest way to get your point across, to get your ideology through to the people, to brainwash people, I don't know what is. You want to know why I say that's the smartest way? Because guess what? Guess who's the leading consumer of television? You're absolutely right, black people. On <laughs> on the national average of television consumption, I think black people consume 40% more than any other demographic. Not only television, but social media. I am a victim due to the fact that I am a content content creator, uh, a fake a fake woke. Uh, 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 A fake woke uh, broadcaster. There you go. I consume a lot of social media. I do. I am a victim. I think I consume at least probably an hour a day. It was like only 30 minutes, but I increased it by 30 minutes. But black people among every other diaspora consumes the most television and social media. We are junkies. We are crack addicts when it comes to the social programming of social media and television. We are easily brainwashed when it comes to television programming. If you don't believe me, go talk to somebody that is 35 plus. (laughs) <laughs> they're completely brainwashed if they tell you you don't watch the news they are completely brainwashed and I stand by that I really do 
but they're attempting to save Black Lives Matter by linking up with Warner Brothers to support and push their ideology through television. And the reason why I say they're attempting to save Black Lives Matter, because let's be honest, if Joe Biden is elected president of the United States, Black Lives Matter will cease to exist. And here's the reason why I say Black Lives Matter will cease to exist. Because up under Joe Biden's presidency, he's been pushing unity, 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 unity. He sat there and he said he won't be a Democratic president. He won't be a Republican president. He will be a president for both parties, for America. That's the, that's the weasel talk. That's what I call weasel talk. He's weaseling his fucking way on in there promoting so-called unity so what's going to happen up under the biden administration police brutality is not going to stop police brutality is not going anywhere anywhere racism is not going anywhere because again joe biden is racist in his damn self matter of fact he's way more racist than fucking donald trump what i'm saying is they're going to suppress all of that shit none of that shit is going to see the light of day at all matter of fact up under obama's administration let's go back to when black lives matter wasn't really an organization matter of fact there was a grassroots organization for the most part wasn't even considered an organization black lives matter black lives matter was just a slogan started in Ferguson in 2014 when a young man by the name of Mike Brown was murdered. Shot in his back by a police officer. And the good people of Ferguson started protesting, peacefully protesting. I think uh, one of the protesters, one of the organizer, organizers name was Josh Williams. Williams, if I'm not mistaken, another one. Um, he was more pol polarizing. He was more outspoken. Um, Darren Seals, I followed him on Twitter for quite some time. Um, do especially during the uh, protests, I followed Darren Seals. He was one of the more polarizing activists in Ferguson. And you want to know the funny thing about Black Lives Matter? Black Lives Matter. The slogan around that time it was a complete rolling blackout after we found out that the police officer would not be convicted of the murder of Mike Brown it was a complete rolling blackout on social media I don't think they were really uh, reporting it like that on the news because I don't consume the news at all there was a complete rolling blackout. They were suppressed completely, completely. And then next thing you know, the true activists of Black Lives Matter that organized Black Lives Matter were either jailed or ended up dead. And then here you come, and then here they come. The three lesbian chicks and D. Ray McKesson and Sean Punk Ass King came and took over Black Lives Matter, came and took over the, the slogan, formed it into an organization that is receiving money from George Soros. Yes, I said it. George Soros is funding Black Lives Matter. And what happens when you have a millionaire white man funding your organization? He owns your organization. He calls the shots of your organization. Yes, through a third party. George Soros is funding Black Lives Matter. He gave them a whopping $200 million in donations over the years. Yes, I said it. Black Lives Matter was once a grassroots organization before it was completely co-opted and turned into a lesbian gay agenda psyop. Now, if you go to the Black Lives Matter website, they completely redacted their pretty much their end all be all goal now it's completely it's, like i said it's completely redacted but before they were only speaking about the justice that needs to be brought i mean not brought but the justice that needs to be obtained 
in regards to women, children, gays, trans, so forth and so on. Nothing about men, but predominantly who are their, pan not pandering, but profiting off of dead black men. Yes, I said it. Yes, I said it. So to all the to all the black men out there supporting Black Lives Matter, that's constantly wearing those funky, those funky ass shirts and face masks that says "I can't breathe," say her name, Black Lives Matter, all of that bullshit. Y'all are y'all have been completely bamboozled. Y'all been completely bamboozled by the system. Completely. And there's no, it's, it's no going back. Y'all already been had, they already didn't make their millions off of the slogan. Now they realize if Joe Biden actually get in office, we gonna have to take a different approach to get our ideology across. And they're taking television. The deadliest of them all. The easiest form of control is television. And the fact that they was able, they, they were able to completely co-opt a movement like that and turning it, turn it into what it is right now, it's very alarming. Now, now, here's my project, not projection, but here is what I am. What am I trying to say? Here's what I see happy, happening. <sighs> Y'all not going to see it coming. They're going to completely try or they're going to completely uh, succeed at destroying the nuclear family. Because again, Black Lives Matter hates the nuclear family. They hate masculinity. They want to eliminate masculinity at all costs. That's what the that's what their whole agenda is based off of. Completely getting rid of the black man, the, a strong black man out of the family. They want to completely destroy masculinity. They want to completely rephrase what masculinity is. They're targeting, they're really targeting the nuclear family. Go on their website. They don't mention the nuclear family at all. They don't mention the black man at all. Even though they completely redacted their site. If you would have went to their site a year ago, two years ago, you would have saw, you would have, you would have saw what it, what it was. It's, it's an all out assault on, ma on, on, on black masculinity. All they want to do is profit off a of dead black man. They don't want to help us because if that was the case, you would know about their endeavors. What well, now? You're getting into television? They're just they're just in it for the profit. You don't hear nothing about philanthropy or anything like that. It's all about the profit. Now they're a corporation. The same corporation that we reside in, they're taking part in that corporation. They're turning their organization into a corporation. They're all about the profit. They're trying to see what they can profit off of. And now they're taking their shit to television. Now they're now they trying to brainwash you through the fucking idiot box. The one-eyed idiot box. Now they're trying to brainwash you through social media. But that concludes my episode for today. Thank you for tapping into the Fake World Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, share. Um promote, do whatever you need to do, get these videos up, uh, get those videos out there for me, please, and thank you, I truly appreciate you guys.